This is crazy, you guys. Freaking crazy. Take three. Okay. Let's get you back on here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to like piece together one, two, three. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna start from here. Okay, so I got the guest request on. <laughs> Let me know if you get it. How's your sound? Good? Or you still got an echo? I got an echo still. I don't hear an echo. No? Hmm. Okay. We'll just roll with it and see what happens. Hopefully it'll go away. And it won't distract me. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Leilomi, for being here today. You're like the best because you share so much value with us. And I'm so excited that you can share how to manifest money today with everybody because that's like one of the number one topics that you know people kind of have an issue with and don't know how to deal with it so thank you for coming and for everybody that doesn't know Lemomi Kayla Kui is a soul alignment mindset coach as well as a soul alignment blueprint and multi-dimensional healer right yeah. that's right yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure I got like all that perfectly because that's very important. You know? People don't realize that, you know, healing and multidimensional all kind of goes together. So, okay. So thank you again for being here. And do you just kind of want to share a little bit for the people that don't know who you are uh, a little bit about how you came into being able to manifest money and the tips that you've learned and, you know, things like that. Oh, definitely. So I actually um, used to be a spiritual monk and not the kind of, like, in a monastery now. Like, <laughs> I was out in the world, of course, um, teaching yoga, meditation, uh, healing martial arts. Um, I also manage, like, a metaphysical storefront. So, like, I've always done things that are, like, spiritual in nature um, and healing so I did that for 10 years but then um, it wasn't really aligned to my bigger goals of having a family and doing things that I want and having the freedom so I left the spiritual group um, and married my soulmate my husband and after only two weeks of knowing each other and we went on this journey to like find ourselves and um, basically I'm just going to stay at home mom um, right after we got married, we had our, we got pregnant, and, um, we moved back to Hawaii, because my husband is actually from the Netherlands, and we met in Sedona, and, um, then we moved to the Big Island so that we could swim in the dolphins when our son was in my belly, um, and just, like, do life on our terms, because 
my experience with any spiritual group, it was severe misalignment, and um, it actually taught me all the things that I care to say. <laughs> because of that experience, um, taught me what is um, alignment and why we need to do everything possible to get into that alignment pull, whether it's to manifest money or abundance or whatever you're looking for in your life. And definitely my story of, you know, going from, um, you know, super successful, everybody knows me, to, like, being left and um, by the spiritual group and then having to rebuild my entire life all over again. It's like basically losing my doctor's degree <laughs> and never being able to use it again. So what it taught me, though, was um, to really stand in my own truth and find what our purpose is, and our purpose is actually to free ourselves. So free ourselves from methods, belief systems that are really not aligned to us, and it's actually really a choice to not engage with it, and create a freedom lifestyle based upon the needs of yourself and your family. Because most of the reasons why we're not manifesting money or doing the things that we um, want in our life is just because we haven't truly chosen um, a way that we can align to our soul, a way that we can align to, um, you know, the, our true, the truest desires. And it actually comes down to what you truly want in life is alignment. Not like the big fat cash, of course you want that, but like you truly want alignment where your soul feels happy, where it's lit up, where you're like excited about life, um, whether it's to travel, whether it's like, to have lots of kids and, you know, spend time with your kids. Like, it doesn't matter. What matters is, like, you feel alignment to your soul and to your purpose. And really, your purpose is nothing super extravagant. It's actually just to be yourself, just to free yourself, to feel, like, um, not um, encased by society or, like, things that people want you to do, but really, like, do it on your own terms. And so, um, over the past, like, four years that I've been in business, me and my husband um, work together now, but, like, I was a stay-at-home mom when I first started, and I just, like, totally went all in in my business, um, in massive sales, into six figures, most of six figures, in, like, for two years of my business, and then just, like, focused on what I wanted to create which was um, healings and teaching people to be practitioners of our modality, which is to um, give us a blueprint and um, the Akashic records and um, teaching them how to be multidimensional healers, but also experts in their industry. So, but anyway, with the background with that, <laughs> it took a long time to find what I actually truly really wanted because most of my life, like, I was always doing something for somebody else, like, either was to help my family to make money because we were poor, uh, whether it was like for the spiritual group, like to make millions of dollars for them, um, and then later to do it for my family and like getting so tired and run down, <laughs> being overbooked and, you know, deciding that actually what I truly wanted was just to be free. Like I didn't want to, of course, have, of course I wanted some money, but like I wanted to have a lifestyle where I could travel and do all the things that I love doing. So that's what we do now. We um, travel the world. We're digital nomads. So we basically go wherever we feel like it. We had a big mission um, this past year to activate 10 big grids. Um, every place uh, has its own energy, its own grid. And so we cleared and um, uh, removed some of the heavy baggage that every place has. Um, in 10 different countries, and so, like, now we're in Thailand. <laughs> but it took a long time to figure out, like, hey, I actually want to be here in Thailand. I want my soul to be called to be here. Um, I'm excited and lit up because it's a it's an environment that allows me to grow. So when you are trying to manifest money or trying to create something in your life, whether it's in your relationship or... Um, uh, having it all, right? Um, the truth is what you want is alignment to your soul first. And I think this is like where people get stuck because they're doing things to manifest money.
see from the head, not from your heart, not from your truest desire. So, like, the universe cannot hear what you truly want or, um, you know, law of attraction attracts what you truly want. If you are not in the energy of um, your own unique creative vortex, and that's how money manifests. Money manifests, like, from being in that alignment to that creation of vortex that source, you know, created. So, um, Abraham Hicks talks about this, by the way. He talks about how important it is to, like, um, come to your truest desires through actually alignment to getting into that flow. And it starts with your frequency, because your frequency is your wealth and your health, right? So if your vibration is very low, you're not taking care of yourself, you're not like doing the things you love, um, not feeling you're doing your purpose or any of like that, your vibe is going to be low. And then you're also not going to attract you know, money, of course, doesn't attract people to you as well, who want to buy your stuff, um, and, yeah, so the first thing you need to do is just get in alignment, right? So, what is one tip that you can give people that they'll know when they're out of alignment, and what can help them become in alignment? Yeah, so one thing people don't know is what the heck is this alignment? And what does that feel like? We usually um, think it's because it's my health problem or, or I'm a victim of a certain situation from a person. But really, misalignment is very specific. So um, when you are not aligned to what I call your superpower, which is the specific energy of what your soul is. So every person has a specific energy that we we're originally made of from source. And... Um, there's eight of them. And Play mommy. Um, Sorry, hon. Yeah. Uh Camille uh, says she can barely says hear she you. She can barely hear you. Oh yeah? Then yeah. Louder. Kinda soft. Okay. Um, so yeah, the eight superpowers is you're gonna need one of them. It's gonna be um, either compassion, uh, creativity, order, love, expression. Um, power, truth, or wisdom. So one of them you want to take action, aligned action towards. And when you actually align that specific energy, the way your soul is designed, that is actually when you you feel an alignment flow, where you're like on fire, where like ideas are flowing through. You're taking aligned action, um, right? Like everybody knows like what alignment feels like. <laughs> but misalignment, actually, people don't catch because we are so like not conscious of our of our body or the sensations that are going on because we're in pain so long that we forget like hey I'm in pain. You know what I mean? Like like a buzzing pain in your shoulder, like it's always been there, right? And alignment, um, misalignment can can feel that as well. Like you just have been taking action away from your superpower, so the energy of what your soul is. And so one way you know that your your misalignment is um, the fog, like brain fog, you know, forgetful, um, you're feeling like very down and not inspired at all, and every time when you try, you know, it feels like you're spinning your wheels, like you're on a hamster wheel, you're going, 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 and nothing like happens, right? Um, or um, it feels like you're working really, really hard, uh, working five to ten times harder than you need to, right? Um, and you're... Basically, inside of your soul, like, you don't feel connected. There's a disconnection between what you say and what you actually do in your life, right? So you can say, oh, airy fairy, like, oh, I'm going to make lots of money and I'm, make, you know, I'm super abundant, you know, but in real life, like, you have, like, nothing, right? It's actually the disconnection um, from your soul is what you actually need to get in alignment first. So that's my first tip is, like, really connect with the energy of what your soul is and when you start to take action towards it then that is when the like alignment and everything will flows in not because um uh it's random it's because it's very specific like for example when i'm a love superpower so everything i do is all like activation healing clearing talking about um you know loving yourself um 
and also I'm kind of a business coach, so I have to talk about business related stuff um, as well. So like I've intertwined like mindset, healing, um, activations, um, you know, making money in your business and all of that. But I come from love first, right? Creating community, um, you know, talking about the things that help us to become much more aligned to what our soul is designed to do, right? So if I start talking about very, like, physically related stuff, um, then I lose my audience. Like, they stop, like, like understanding what I'm saying, they don't hear what I'm saying. Like, I, don't, like, I lose my soul's voice. So that's what happens when you're not in alignment. Like, you start to lose confidence because you're losing your connection to your soul and how you're supposed to speak out into the world. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, totally. totally. I mean, it does to me. So for anybody that doesn't understand what she just said, when you're out of alignment, you're like a hamster spinning your wheels. When you're in alignment, you're passionate about something and you're like, yes, I'm going to do this. I don't care what. And I'm going to just go for it. And, and things just happen and they flow. And, and it's great. Yeah. So that's pretty much a line. Um, people, places, things, they just sort of show up. And you're like, wow, how is that, like, happening? You know, that feeling like, wow, like, things are just, like, flowing to you, and you're attracting it to you rather than you're trying to change it. So when you're, like, in this alignment, you're in, like, this changing mode, like, I need clients, I need money, I need, like, it's like a desperation. Um and it's all just because you're not aligning to who you are at some level and you're not taking action towards that. And as soon as you do like that one or two actions that's like really aligned to your superpower, like ma instant manifestation happens for sure. Yes, yeah. so, so, so true. true. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, so you have a quiz, you have a quiz that, people that people can take, can take. If people, if people don't, don't know, know what their, what their superpower, superpower is, is right? right? And I think I that's, think that's one, one step we need to add in here with the alignment is if you're not sure what your superpower is, we'll drop in the link um, and you take the quiz and it'll give you basically an overview of what, of what uh, it is that, you know, you are, what your value is, what, what you like, <laughs> your alignment. <laughs> Yeah, so I made this quiz because um, everybody that came to me, even though they have, like, a business issue, which was, like, making money or um, fixing their relationship or, like, they came with, like, a problem, it always always came back down to, like, 90% of them. Like, I interviewed, like, over 300-some people, and this was three sessions because I really, truly wanted to understand the soul and... Um, what misalignment was and what is alignment and uh, what I found was like I could categorize them into those eight kind of superpowers and um, so I wanted to be able to describe it all to everybody like specifically what that looks like for a certain superpower um, specifically what it looks like when you are in alignment for that specific superpower what does that look like when you're on the right path um, and what the fulfillment um, of your soul will look like because usually when we take action towards the wrong superpower, we're actually going down the wrong path. And this is why we hit sort of like a income ceiling or like, again, so it's like you're working 10 times harder than you need to. It's because you're going down the wrong path. So every superpower has a very specific path. And um, when you take action towards it, then absolute abundance happens. And you can see this with, like, celebrities, um, you know, really well-known experts in their industry where they make lots of money. The only reason they're doing that is because they're really aligning to their superpower, which is, like, their genius. It's, like, the specific um, energy of their soul. So, like, when they're taking action towards it, you naturally go down the correct path. If you're doing um, uh, the wrong superpower, you're going to end up going, like, taking action towards the wrong energy, and then, like, you have haters, um, you know, people who don't really understand what the heck you're talking about, um, <laughs> like, sabotaging your growth. Of course, we all have, like, those things, like, come up, but, like, 
Uh, when we're not taking action towards the correct path, we end up like spending more time and energy than we need to. And then as soon as you switch yourself right to the correct path, it's like, oh, it's so easy. Like flow, makes sense. You know that feeling like I just know? Then knowing this comes because you are in alignment to your superpower. Not because um, you, you took that strategy or you did that specific thing. It's because you're, you're aligning to the energy of your soul. So this quiz, um, you can go to bit.ly forward slash um, this archetype quiz. This archetype quiz. It's uh, my soul bit archetype quiz. Um, so I've breaking it down into kind of three kind of um, categories, but we actually have eight superpowers. And so like I kind of like um, share with you like your values and how to get in alignment to your soul and also a webinar as well, like um, that you will receive as well. And so like but remember now like whatever you're aligning to and how you answer the questions, it's like what you're gonna get your answer. And a lot of times most right. people, like I said, are ninety percent in misalignment. And they don't even know how misaligned that they are, or they do, but like they don't know the steps of how to get back into alignment. So the quiz just gives you a little bit more clarity. Oh, like, oh yeah, that's the way my soul is designed. But when I go in your classic records and I look up like your blueprints of the energy blueprint of what your soul is, uh, it gives you an, an idea um, of the actions that you can take, and you actually can take specific actions according to your superpower. And then th by doing that. Um, that's how money flows to you, actually, just by taking that aligned action for that superpower. I have a very different approach than how people are like teach about money, <laughs> because um, most people, like I said, like if they do manifest money, they're manifesting from their head or some strategy or something like they visualize or somebody told them what to do. But every single soul is so unique. Like each part of your blueprint is different. So, like, you can um, follow somebody who is, for example, like, very outcome-oriented, but if you're very processed, you're never going to manifest a thing. Or vice versa, you're following somebody super processed, and, like, you're doing their process, like, and you're very outcome-oriented, like, you're not going to manifest a thing either. <laughs> so, we all have, like, our own manifesting blueprints, our own unique energy. And when you align to that energy, like, line up all of those parts of your blueprints, and connected to source, that is when the flow and um, the clarity and the, like the aligned action all happens naturally, just by taking the mind in to your superpower. Hope that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so people just need to basically get out of their own head. Right. And, if and, you're and really just sit, sit there and listen to, to what their soul is, is saying and be super honest with yourself. Are you in alignment? And most people don't realize that they're not because they're stuck in the nine to five, right? They don't really have that time to work on themselves. Or they do, but then they get tired of it and then they don't know what else to do. So they don't realize that it's also a growth process and that it's okay to change and evolve and do certain different things as well. So that's, yeah pretty crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um so let's see what else see what question else i have here question um, here. um strategies, strategies that you practice um is there like any particular order or something that you do because i know that i do small little things like say thank you on my bills um what else do I do? I journal. Um, we do the quantum cups. But is there like a specific order that you do? And then you also do the money grids. Like how does that work um, for somebody? Um, you kind of want to explain and touch on that? Oh, definitely. Um, so when it comes to money, like money is a frequency. So... You have to get into a high vibe frequency so you can call in like that specific money or that specific desire. So one way that you can do that is you can create money grids. So you literally um, have to have a very clear intention when you do it. 
Because otherwise, like, you're not really manifesting anything. You're just, like, placing stuff all over here and there, you know. Um, which, in the beginning, when I first started it, that's kind of what I was doing. And then I realized, actually, it's much more deeper when you put your mind and heart into it in a specific order and a specific way. Um, you start to manifest money or opportunities or things. And what a grid is, is actually, everybody is a grid. Like, we literally have, um, you know, they say your chakras, your energy system, um, right? That's actually a grid. Like, our body is a grid. And you can think of it as, like, have you ever seen, um, like, on Google Maps, when you see, like, all the lines all crossing you know, like the streets are like in a certain way, and it looks like a very pretty, like, weave of, um, like a spider web, right? Our body has that, and so when we manifest from within our heart space, um, we actually can create anything faster and draw it to us. So when you make such a money grid, for example, where you place, like, um, you know, dollar bills, or you place things that are um, what you want to create or manifest, whether it's pictures, whether you, um, like, put the quantum cups, you just, like, you put alkalized water within it to magnify your intention. Um, yeah, so like that, you put crystals, um, or just objects that really represent what you actually want to create and manifest. It's a super powerful tool to do. And by the way, like, I do challenges on this kind of stuff. I share um, amazing free content in my Facebook group. If you go to my Soul Alignment Leaders for Consciousness um, Facebook group or a Freedom Flow Leaders Facebook group. And I talk about, like, all of the different ways that you can manifest. Um, and one way is creating new grid. And so when you put your intention in it, it's like, um, it's like a, it's like your body, right? When, you're, when your frequency is high, um, you start attracting all the things that you want. And so the grid actually grounds it and holds space for you to manifest the thing that you desire. And, you know, people call it like your altar, you know, like you're praying to God or something like that. You actually you don't need to pray to a specific thing like, you know, God or Jehovah or like whatever religion you are part of as well. Like, it doesn't affect your religion at all. It's just you are holding space of container for the thing that you intend to create and come into person in your life, right? So I've been doing these grids like all over the world as well, and holding those grids is what um, allows countries and people to like feel, you know, politics and things like that, but it's a grander scale doing it. But you can literally do this for yourself and your family. Um, and, and, like make it part of your routine as well. I think it's really important if you find a daily routine that works for you. So like for me, when I get up in the morning, I make sure I'm hydrated. I drink, you know, tongue and not water. By the way, I was drinking earlier here. Like I have three to five liters of water a day because being hydrated is like super important part of manifestation. <laughs> Because if you're not hydrated, this is why you have headaches, you have insomnia, you have stomach issues, constipation, like all our issues can be actually solved by just being hydrated. So I never like not drink water. <laughs> I drink water throughout the entire day. And by the way, this is alkalized water, so it's like hydrogen, oxygen, like to your body. So you can drink like tons of it. And it never really affects like your of your alkaline nature. Um, most people are um, having health issues because they're not hydrated. So number one, make sure you have good water. <laughs> it's important. Um, and the other thing that I do is I do a certain kind of um, ritual, whether it is like yoga or meditation, um, and I have like journals on journal of like all the things that I desire and I write it down, I visualize it, um, I, I have very specific things that I want to do and I cross them off throughout the day, um, I have like my calendar, <laughs> it's full of content that I share out in the world, like I have like 
um, all of these journals because it helps me to like get super clear and focus on what I desire and what I want. And the same thing goes with money. If you want to manifest money, you need a container to hold the money for, right? So like, um, if you want to manifest money for a vacation or manifest money for, um, you know, your debt, like you can literally uh, create containers to hold for yourself so that you can manifest money for that specific desire. But if you're not clear about what you actually want, use the money for, the money will never come to you because, you know, the universe doesn't know what you want it for, right? So um, sticking to your own daily routine is super important. Like you can have a night ritual and a morning ritual. Some people are like night owls, you know, like I cannot function in the night time. Like I just <laughs> cannot think straight. <laughs> well, some people, they can go like, I don't know, all the way through the night and like have like amazing creative stuff going on. Like I cannot for life me be functional in the night, you know? <laughs> Um, for me, the morning, I'm super high vibe. I'm like doing all kinds of stuff. I get like shit done in four hours. Like it's amazing what I can what you can do. And so you want to actually, um, if you want to manage this money, same thing goes as well. Like you want to create a time that works for you that you can focus. Like two hour sprints or three hour sprints. Um, and it's amazing what you can achieve. Instead of going, oh, okay, I'm going to go to my nine to five job. You know, I work from nine to five, and I got like, you know, like you take eight hours of like not focusing. Instead, like do things in sprints. You know, um, and when I implemented that, it absolutely changed everything. And specifically as well, like have a day for certain things. Like I have certain days that, like for example, we're doing a live stream right now. Like, Day is the day that I do interviews or live streams and stuff like that to share out the world, right? Um, and certain days I focus on sales, and certain days I focus on my marketing, and I automate all of my marketing. Like yesterday, I spent um, like the day like in, in print creating like 10 different kind of automated posts that can be that is scheduled for the entire week, so I don't have to worry about my marketing, you know, but it's the backbone of everything that I create. If I want to create more, then I'll create more, right? So when you want to create money, it has to be the same thing where you need to have marketing and automations in place in order for you to create the income, right? So if you want to create 10K months, for example, um, you want to make sure that, like, you are doing all the, the, the ritual or the tools that get you super, super focused and create momentum. So... Um, finding that routine that creates momentum for you is what I highly recommend if you want to manifest money as well. So what do you recommend to people that have a bad experience with money, you know, that hate money, they think money is evil. What do you have to tell them? (laughs) So one thing to work on, this is the other thing as well about money. Money is a frequency, right? So if your mindset is like, oh, it's so ugly, it's dirty, it's like, you know, you, all those negative things you can throw at money, you know, right? Money doesn't care, you know? It's just a piece of paper. So the only reason why you're not having money is because you're throwing shit at the paper, you know? Like, it's just like throwing shit at the wall um, and expecting it to stick. It goes the same with money like if you treat money with respect and you treat um with sincerity and with love and gratitude like money would treat you back as well right i see a lot of people for example this is super simple but i see a lot of people they crumple their like dollar bills and stuff like inside their pocket and they don't actually like put it in a wallet or like how they hold it as well it's not like ooh, ugly you know it's like they're not sincere about actually receiving it. I was actually watching um, this lady, like, eating her food. Her husband, like, bought them food. Um, we're at the market. And they sat down. And then he gave, he gave her the dollars, like, the change or whatever. And, like, as soon as she grabbed it, 
she like crumpled it into like a tiny little ball in her hand while she was eating like this. And I'm like, oh my god, like, I was like, <laughs> like, oh my god, you don't treat money like that. Like, the money is just supposed to be like, oh my god, I don't want to be around you, you know? And, um, so, like, if you have, like, your own wallet, for example, like, clean out your wallet regularly. Like, get out the receipts, you know, make the money straight, you know, put them in this nice container. And when you treat money um, as a very beautiful thing that gives you freedom, because really money um, gives you choices. Without money, you have no choices. And without money, you don't have freedom, right? So if you see money as a tool to get freedom, that is what you're going to get. If you think of it as, oh, man, I have something more debt, more bills are going to pile up. Um, you know, like if you have all those kind of negative mindset around money, um, what I would do is actually learn about what money is to you and like do mindset work or journaling around it so that you can see why you have those mindsets around money. Because it usually comes from your parents, the way that you're taught how to treat money or how to use money, whether it's like you treat it like water where it just goes out, right? Or you really take it in and you have gratitude for it, not being frugal. Right? but like having gratitude for it and letting it circulate throughout your life and your business. So true, so true. So true. I did that, I did practice, that practice and I wrote it out and it was mind-blowing by, yeah, yeah, we got it from our parents, our grandparents, were, 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 what we seen when we were small. And like for my example with money, I was scared of spending money. I always had to save it because grandma was like, what if there was an emergency? And so I never got to spend my money. So I didn't ever spoil myself. I, I didn't know how to properly spend it right. And then when I got it, I just blew it, you know, after a certain point. Cause I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna need it for an emergency, you know? <laughs> And then, boom, there went all the money, and then I learned a lesson, like, oh, shit, I didn't appreciate that money. Wow. And I was just mind blown, and it does take work to get that back when you lack the appreciation. So definitely appreciating it and aligning and all that is super important. Yeah, and managing your money as well. There's so many tools about money that's not even funny. Like, you can read books about um, you know, changing your mindset about money, your relationship with money, um, about knowing clearly what you desire so that you can actually use money to track, like, those things that you desire to have that freedom. Um, there's even, like, things that you can do to invest into money, right? Like, um, but it's real estate or it's like, you know, stuff that are long term, like stocks or um, investing in somebody else's startup business. Um, it's really an amazing world to like learn about. Like finances. It's like a whole system of economics that we never actually like like go out and learn. You just sort of like stay in our little box and oh yeah, I just need money for this and I just have enough money for that, right? Um, so this not enoughness is what's causing you to not have money in your pocket. Like, you know, you, you, know, you deserve that money or deserve that, that money, like you said, like to spend it on something that you actually like. So then you end up like overspending it or like, you know, like not managing it as well, mm -hmm. right? Because we have expenses and we have income. And when you circulate it really well and you know how to manage it really well, it's like amazing what happens. Um, in your life and business, there's like this um, rapid abundance and alignment that happens naturally when you when you see money as a tool, as a as a frequency, as a um, yeah, because wealth is health, right? And if you don't have a good relationship with money, you also won't have a good relationship with health or vice versa, right? Um, or even in your relationship as well, like a lot of relationships um, don't go well because you fight over money. You know, you fight over that because really what you're fighting about is like your freedom. You just want to spend the money on what you want to spend for each other, you know? <laughs> or right. lack of it, right? 
So then you also lack freedom because you're fighting over those like all of those things about how you manage money or if one person is super frugal and the other one spends a lot. Or vice versa, right? Like it's like fighting over each other's values about money. So what's important is to kind of negotiate to see what you spend money for, like expenses wise, what is for pleasure, what is for like putting it in a container, right? Of like what you're gonna do with it. Like you can literally split it into like nine different bank accounts, for example. And um you just split it into like okay, this is for pleasure money, right? This is for money for me, nobody else touch, right? <laughs> and uh, or bank account where it's a joint account where both of you guys use it for your pleasure, right? Um, a bank account that's for like your um, expenses, so like you know exactly how much needs to come out of that, and it's like in that container and it, it goes out every single month, right? Um, you can make an, a bank account for your savings for something long term that you're trying to pay, like really long term, I mean, um, or something that's short term as well. Another bank account that's something short term that you're saving up for that like you don't touch. Right. Um, another another bank account that's for like saving a certain um, a, a certain amount that you desire. Like let's say that you're gonna invest in stocks or you're gonna invest in something like bigger that takes time. Like having something in there as well that nobody touches. Like if you can just put a dollar a day into that bank account, like you have ten thousand dollars. Like you do that, and then in two years you can get like twenty thousand dollars that you can just by putting a dollar a day, you know. And you can all totally automate it as well. Like you can automate like what comes out of your bank account um, and put into certain accounts and separate it and give it its own beautiful container. It's really amazing what happens when you when you give your money like. So much care. Um, if you're not really into digital, you can literally just get, you know, these like little baggies or something and put your money in it or those specific things that you talk about, you know, and just put a you know, dollar or some coins of change in it, like for that specific container. Um, and then when the, your, some people are like really hands on, right? You can totally like take all those baggies and put them in your bank account so you're not touching it either. You know, um, we, we've done that as well, and we have like little baggies for every little thing that we're trying to create, whether it's saving, whether it's like stuff you don't touch. But like, it's absolutely amazing when you can just manage money in that way, you be hands on with your money. Like, I have money in my pocket all the time, I'm smelling it, I'm touching it, I'm feeling it, I'm connecting with it. When you have that relationship with money, money is going to have a relationship with you, right? Like, you're like, oh, it's dirty, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to touch that, you know, like, that's how money is going to give you too, with the frequency. Yes, yeah. so, so, so true. true. <laughs> So I think one thing that people need to uh, really remember too um, when they're sitting there paying their bills, you need to be super honest with yourself. Like, are you overspending? Can you cut back? Um, you have a credit card. Do you need to use it? Um, you know, or if you have that energy about paying bills, you know, this credit card gave you what you needed at the time you wanted it. And you should appreciate that in, in paying it back. And those little things, too, definitely count that people don't realize that, oh, man, I'm not appreciating what, appreciating what I have. And it's definitely not going to come back if you don't appreciate it. So uh, that's one thing that they need to keep in mind um, and practicing that, too. Is the gratitude. It's super important to automate your bill. So, like, people think, like, oh, I need to, like, like, as soon as I get money, I'm going to pay my debt. Actually, what you're doing, by doing that, you're making more debt. Because what you focus on and use the money for is what's been created again, right? So, even if you're, like, 
bringing all that money and you're putting it into your debt, like, just automate it. Like, $100, $200, whatever. Like, it's so incredibly free to know, like, if it's done. So then what you do instead is focus on saving money, creating multiple streams of income in different ways, and focus on creating the energy of money to be, like, abundant the coming season. And that is just, like, previous frequency, right? Like, things that you needed at the time that you don't even need to focus on, actually, right? If you want to create something you desire in your life, you have to focus on it. So if you focus on your debt or focus on like this debt thing, you make yourself super small, um, you don't actually save money, you just sort of like stay around. So it's important to automate your debt, like let it be taken out of your bank account, your phone bill, your electric, your water bill, your, um, I don't know, mortgage, what else do you pay for? Um, internet, right? Like, those should be completely automated that it takes out of your bank account. And same thing with your debt as well. So, like, you just designate $500, $600 a month or whatever they go to pay your debt, right? Or your car payment or something like that. Like, do you even think about, like, it's too much about, like, oh my God, like, $200 is like, I gotta pay for my car payment. Like, as soon as you just focus on that, like, don't focus on money. Like, money doesn't come in. So it's important to have that all automated so you're not thinking about it. And all you're doing is focusing about all the different ways that it's like, to create more money, you know? Um, and when we did that, like, and by the way, because we travel, like, you don't have time to sit in this, like, sign text and stuff like the old way. <laughs> but it's just, it takes so much time and energy just to pay your bills, right? So right. make sure that everything is taken out and automatic, and it's just so free to know that it's just gone, you know? And then what you do is you focus on um, making three times or four times more the amount of money that you need of your expenses, right? So like I say, your expenses is $2,000, right? Like, in all, with credit card debt and everything that you got to pay. Just make sure it has a minimum that you're paying. It's better to pay a minimum to your debt than to try and pay ten thousand dollars of your debt like all at once. Because over time, right, like something else is gonna come up where you're gonna have to spend on it. Right? And mm -hmm. so it's better to have an extra cash, right, of that saving. Um and know that, that you can use that for a specific thing that you need to be so abundant. But if you're like barely making it every month and they like there's no um no extra tax like coming in you kind of feel very frugal about this right you're like oh man and they're like this, this is this and this penny and that like and you're like focusing on your debt rather than focusing on creating a bunch of and creating a life you want and the freedom you want and like making your frequency higher because it's not Money is your wealth. Your wealth, I'm sorry, your wealth is your health as well, right? So if you want more health, you need to also increase your wealth. If you want more wealth, you have to increase your health as well. So work on like finding that balance, but also just work on really automating all that stuff because you're not meant to focus on lack, you're meant to focus on abundance. I hope that's super clear. Like that's what yeah, I that, was, that was awesome. <laughs> I, I haven't even automated, automated, automated all my bills. bills. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I need Maybe to I do need all to my do bills. My bills. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's, that's crazy. crazy. See, even I learned something, something new. new. <laughs> um... I think that's all the questions I have. I know I wanted to share with this everybody if they wanted a free copy. Um, we're going to have them drop an emoji below and then we'll send a free PDF because this definitely helped change our life with money and it does talk about quantum physics and things like that. So 
like that's some more stuff that we're going to be learning too. So yeah, I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to add? I mean, I am out of questions. <laughs> Let me say and I don't think I have anybody here. Does anybody have any questions? I don't know if everybody's still on. Camille said she couldn't hear a little bit earlier, so hopefully it'll be clear. But okay, yeah, hopefully that book is amazing. Like Happy Pocket Full of Money, like really massively changed my perception about money. Because it really was talking about the frequency of money and how, like, everything you're doing, um, it's truly a frequency. So, like, if you're, especially around money, at least around money, and so it's like, you don't have a good relationship with money, like, reading that book is so transformational just by, like, in the vibration of it. Um, and the gratitude, the magic book as well, like, using that as a tool. And you can do that with money as well, mm -hmm. like being in gratitude for money. Um, it's an amazing practice to add as well in your daily in your daily ritual. Um, whatever you want in life, by the way, if you don't focus on, like it never happens. You know. So, like, if you want a better relationship, sometimes you need to like work on your money. Funny, but like, it's not really related. You don't think it's related to each other, but. Your relationship, usually, you don't have freedom because of money problems, right? So, if you want to grow something, like for us, like we wanted to travel. So, we know we needed money. You know, we know we needed to create money, like, um, more than what normal people do. So, like, I did lots of rituals and things and stuff, like, and, but I didn't focus necessarily on the money. I focused it on the things that got me in alignment to receive money. Yes. yes. So take the time to really look at what you desire and see what, what you're lacking. Like, for example, like, I was lacking on doing exercise or taking care of my health. So as you travel, like, it's just, it's just exciting. You know, like, there's just so many different things you want to eat and, you know, like, I never really pay attention to it. But because um, I focused on my health, like money started flowing in because it was the thing that I wasn't focusing on that needed to be addressed. So when you address it, like abundance comes comes to you. So like if you're doing something over and over again, you're not gonna get the same results. You're gonna get the, you know the same bad results. So do something that's outside of your box that you don't normally do. Um and take that risk or that step and it's amazing what manifests. Like in especially money, like Money comes to you in different ways, but if you're looking at it in a way that's like, um, uh, like you're, you're, you're only going to receive money from your corporate job, right? And that's all you're going to receive. But if you look at it, it's like, oh, I can get money from, um, you know, my savings, um, you put it in there, or I can get money from the friends that owe me money. Right? Like, wherever you give energy to, it will start manifesting that start coming to you more easily as well. So, that's my last little skill. But I really think, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's important to, like, address the things that you're really afraid of. And, like, that is when, like, amazing things are smashed. Yes. Perfectly said. If you're scared, do it. <laughs> It means to do it. <laughs> yes, it will change your, change life. your life. You have, you no, have idea. no idea. <laughs> so awesome. Well, I don't have any more questions, beautiful. And I so much appreciate you coming and sharing with everybody about money and manifesting and being in alignment because that's one of the biggest things that people don't realize like oh shit I might be out of alignment what does that mean and then let me take the next step and the next step so I appreciate you coming and sharing with everybody and I thank you so much <laughs> you're so welcome I hope everybody got value out of this because I tend to like talking tangents <laughs>
I think we all do that. We got stuff that pops up and we're like, oh, dude, an idea, an idea. And then, you know, it is what it is. It all has to come out for them, right? Right. Yeah, channeled in. <laughs> so thank you. I love you. And we'll see you on the next round. Yeah. Whatever that is. And if you need help as well, you can go to my website, which is www.mynamelaymomikatecooley.com. Yes, I will yes. put in all the links for everybody, and we'll get everybody going. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.